All right, what's up, guys? Man, it's been a fat minute since I've done a sneaker review video, and I was like, nah, man, cause like that's that's why. I, well, to I guess to talk on one thing. So what I've been uh doing the past maybe couple of years, I've been starting my New Year's like resolutions uh early and stuff. So uh, no, that's why I told myself with sneakers, I was like, I didn't want to buy the same sneaker unless it's a colorway that i really really want but other than that like if it's just like any old like pair of sneakers and things i'm not gonna buy them because i'm like if i so like for an example i already have a pair of air jordan one mids air jordan one gore-tex air jordan 11 lows um adidas top tens and all that and i'm all like i'm tired of you know it, plus i'm trying to save some money so on top of that i'm like yeah i you know I'm, I'm just not trying to buy like the same shoe over and over and over again in every you know rainbow color possible and stuff so uh, yeah that's why i was all like well i wanted to start doing and things is buying like different shoes shoes i ain't got already and uh yeah there's a couple of pair of shoes i bought um they will be getting their own separate review videos and stuff but anyways Starting off with probably, this might be one of the wildest shoes I have to say that I buy. And the name is very fitting, but this is the Adidas Crazy One. This this is a legitimate shoe. And I did some, uh, like, um, history uh, searching on this shoe. And actually, um, no, there's a more deeper in-depth video. He he knows more about shoes than I do. But um, Wear Testers, he had uh, reviewed these shoes. It was a white colorway. He also had these colorway, but it was an older one, I think, because the last time they had uh, um, retro these shoes, it was I think it was in 2015. So I think, um, yeah, the shoes, they originally came out in 2000 because uh, Kobe was wearing them. Yeah, this is like the first, like, championship uh, Kobe shoe. That I did not know unless, yeah, you know, it's like you do some research and stuff. But, um, yeah, this is the first shoe that Kobe had wore. So he wasn't always signed to uh, Nike. Um, he did spend, you know, some time. I think I heard that he was like, he was just kind of wearing like any old shoes. And then uh, he signed with Adidas for a little bit. Came out with these. Came out with a second pair. And the second pair, it, I I just, I, I don't know. Like maybe, it, it seemed like with the second, the crazy twos, like they seemed like they could have been like fashion shoes. You know, like those, like them like catwalks or they be doing them shows and stuff. I feel like that's like, if you ever take a, like the chance to look up the Adidas crazy twos, that's what those look like. They look like they should be like at some like winter collection for Adidas or something. But even this, I feel like it's a good like winter shoe. And that's why I had more so bought these shoes because I know the weather is going to get bad and I feel like with these shoes, um, with the material that's going around it, because it's kind of like, I wish, so it kind of feels, you know how, um, dang, uh, reflective, you know how like the, no, it actually prime example, um, the, uh, Air Jordan 6, like the, um, reflection of the championships, so it kind of feels like a reflective material, but it's not, because even when I was feeling the shoe, it does kind of, that, and that's actually what wear testers, what they were saying in there, it's like, this is, I think, supposed to be Adidas version of a foam posit, so yeah, just think of a, like, of a, like, a, like, really well put together, built shoe, uh, yeah, this is, this is what this is, but yeah, it kind of has, like, that material, um like that they'll use like for reflective uh shoes and stuff but it's not it, it ain't like it's just yeah it's just a really bright shoe and things so my mom she said that these look like if uh like a yellow jacket or something i'm like yeah it, it does kind of give off like a bumblebee you know yellow jacket vibe and things but no i just like because if you guys know me you know that i like getting the shoes that nobody buys and it was funny because when i went into champs today the uh cashier she was all like you're the first person to actually ask for these shoes i'm like different all right <laughs> you know i just yeah it's like i could get you know the air jordan 37s or the you know other shoes that they got up on the shelves i'm like i want the shoes that nobody gets bruh so but anyways um so yeah let's overall talk on the shoe let's talk on the uh detailing so yeah whole shoe is just pretty much um, like all around, like just a tank built. So if you're buying these shoes, like yeah, you can um buy these shoes because I think that's why more um like basketball shoes, especially these shoes, are being released in this day and age. Maybe if you if you really want to use them for uh court use, um yeah, it's like got got good traction on the uh, bottom and stuff. And um yeah, it just comes off as a shoe where it's like over the time. Because I will say that 
this is a pretty snug shoe like even going up half a size in this shoe it still has like a snug feel to it so um yeah you're if you're playing these out on the court your feet are going to feel secure trust me especially if you go true to size in these shoes because i was gonna go true to size but i was like nah these shoes is too snug and i'm like i'm you know i'm trying to avoid shoes that's gonna be hurting my feet so i was like nah let me go ahead go up half a size because i know i'm gonna be more so using them for um casual use i ain't gonna be playing sports in them and stuff so but um no other than that though i feel like yeah these would um overall hold up like in this day and age and things because that's one thing for sure is that shoes from like back then i feel like those were more for sport use and then like i feel like the reason why they just release shoes today is more for uh casual use i mean there's some shoes i feel like the shoes that they um use more so for like um sport like sport use and things is like the signature shoes of the basketball players today so like westbrook um uh morant trying to think of who else um trey because uh, i did get um trey young his shoes so yeah those in my opinion those would be the sh like the best shoes but i feel like shoes like classic shoes they're not gonna hit like how they used to back in the day so even i could think of like when i had some shoes back then and i was like they like shoes just feel different now you know so i don't know maybe it's just me getting older but um anyways that is another thing that i've noticed about these shoes and it's uh with these shoes they do have like some like um factory defects and things because if you notice and it's funny because in the wear testers video he had a white pair and they had the same exact dent on this uh toe part of the shoe and things so uh yeah if you do get these shoes um and you know there's like there's like some factory there's even like some like kind of like a wrinkle a little bit on the shoe hold on if like if i can kind of I don't think y'all can, like, really see that things. But, yeah, there's, like, there are some, like, factory defects with this uh, shoes and stuff. But I'm like, hey, look, I still like them. You know, it's just, it's one of those shoes where I'm all, like, it's different. I like different, all right? So, but, um, yeah, fit-wise, yeah, this shoe is, it's, like I said, it is snug. I tried on a size 10, and I was like, when I was wearing the shoe, I can feel my feet already getting in pain. And I'm like, I may, maybe that's just, I'm only 27. I'm like, fam, I should not be out here getting old people pains at a young age i'm like nah bro that's weird but no i had tried on a size 10 and i was like nah bro these these are these are way too like snug and things i'm like nah because and i guess like you know yeah it's just not like you know which shoes you gotta break them in so maybe i should have did that but i was like you know what nah let me just let me see what a 10 and a half feels like and uh you know i guess like if it's like if my like back heel is like popping out of the back of the shoe and stuff then i'll probably just go you know true to size but no it's like with a 10 and a half like i did um yeah these are what these are and uh no they feel fine i was like you know and they're laced up all the way and stuff because i i like doing that with my shoes i like lacing them up are they laced up all the way oh yeah 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 no they are laced up all the way so i like lacing my shoes up all the way so um yeah definitely um like for in my for my like or my own personal opinion if casual wear go up half a size but if you're playing sports um yeah basketball and this i mean it does have like that uh traction like this could have been played um outdoors too so if you do want to get these shoes um this is what the uh yeah the, the traction looks like i feel like it's like it's good um for like outdoor use and things it just really depends on like where you play because i know they got like those kind of um those like basketball courts where it's like the like it's smoothed out a little bit so it's like it feels like kind of like an indoor court but um then it got like them concrete ones so i don't know it's it's really at the end of the day it's you know it's how your foot overall adapts to this shoe and things so uh definitely if uh if you can test these shoes out um i don't know if like if a foot locker or a champs if they'll allow you to like kind of like test because I, I don't know i i know when i try a shoe on i'm trying it for casual use but it's like it lets you like run some drills or something in the shoes like i i guess like you know you can you can maybe ask <laughs> and see but anyways um no these shoes they do they oh yeah they don't they don't even have the uh um the prices on the shoes anymore on the box so uh no these retail at 150 and uh yeah but i i guarantee and i promise you if you wait a little bit you actually possibly could get these um at a cheaper price on uh goat maybe hold on for a second let me check what goat prices are because goat you usually shoes that are on the shelves you can get them for a little bit uh a little bit off on uh goat or stock x and things so let's see um yeah dang i should have went and got these on goat but i know no oh they got 
dang man i yeah i should have got these on goat because they there's like other colorways that they got and stuff so my size um you can actually get these uh under retail if um if you just do like regular shipping and stuff for 93 dollars and then they got one where it's like new with defects which means like sneakers are new and unworn but have um imperfections that require you to review photos before purchasing those cost 72 dollars I don't know if they got like any that are used, but I, I mean, that's, you know, really at the end of the day, if, if you want to buy some used shoes, then you can. But no, they got like a bread colorway, bro. I should have bought that. Dang. And they're cheaper, too. No, they're no, not. No, they're not. They're like slightly um like around the same price. But still, dang, that's messed up, man. That's messed up. If I had seen this bread colorway, I'm telling you, if they... Dang, man. I should have got these. I'm mad now. When these shoes come out? Oh, these came out. These are the Star Wars. That's supposed to be a Darth Vader. Hold on for a second. Let, let me show you guys um, these shoes. Why is EA Play opening up? It's so weird. But anyways, now, yeah, let, let me show you guys these shoes. These do not look like no Darth Vader shoes. I don't know, they, they, you can't really see the insides and stuff of it and, and stuff, I mean, like, or even the tongue, because the tongue, the tongue looks slightly different in things, but, yeah, I don't know, maybe, um, yeah, may, maybe, it, it's just, maybe there's some other parts of the shoe, but, anyways, um, yeah, go ahead, get, get you a pair of the, uh, crazy ones and things, um, you know, if you do, like, let me, let me show you guys the crazy twos, I, they might have, like, the crazy twos on, uh, on, uh, oh, maybe not. No, these, why, they, these are, no, these are different. These are different. These ain't the ones that, uh, that they showed in the, um, wear testers, um, video. Huh, they, they, they Adidas is out here, they crazy, crazy 2KB, oh, okay, because I was about to say, I was like, yeah, those aren't, they probably ain't got them, because there's probably people that haven't bought them up or might, like, thrown them out or something, so it'll probably be a shoe that Adidas would have to, like, put in production in order for you guys to see it, but you possibly could look them up on Google, or, uh, yeah, watch the, uh, Wear Testers video, but anyways, and that being said, I will talk to y'all later, thank you guys for watching, like, subscribe if you are new to the channel, and peace.